My start point for this project was to examine the various artists and photographers that had explored the concept of stories and storytelling over time. I did a general search on the internet and spoke to my parents and my teacher about ideas for inspiration. And from all the research I did, there were five particular artists that stood out to me. These are Francis Bacon, Tom Hunter, Tom Phillips, Tom Allen and John Rathman. I really enjoy Tom Allen's work as he creates really clever work out of old book covers. He works to make 3D scenes that are related to the book out of a 2D colour. I think that it's a really clever idea as he's made some brilliant scenes. One of my favourite pieces of work is the one with the scientist and the couple kissing behind her. It almost feels as though she's being cheated on while she's at work, or it could represent her outside of work, so it's really up to the viewer to interpret and make the most of the work. I think the most enjoyable part of his work is the way he pays so much attention to detail and really brings the scenes to life. This is shown especially in one of his images, where one person is punching through the book and it looks as though his punch is much more powerful and effective. From his work, I think that I will take how he allows the reader to make their own creative outcome of what they think the image is about. The reason that Tom Hunter is an inspirational artist for this project to me is because it is a modern take on old photos which appear to have a backstory and almost don't make sense without a caption or an explanation. His work is very much staged but is done in a very controlled environment and recreated perfectly. I think that he captures the element of hidden story as well as incorporates modern day features into the images very smoothly. For example, where there once was an open country there is now a housing estate. This shows a lot more of our world is now inhabited compared to only a few years ago when it was select parts of the world which are so heavily populated. There is something really unusual about Tom Phillips' work. I like the way that he spends so long on work but then leaves out a few words that are a story in themselves but aren't necessarily linked in with the actual book. This one negative side of his technique is that it feels as though some of his work isn't finished. This is both positive and negative as it allows for interpretation but could also people put people off his work. There is a hidden meaning to some of his work for the audience to work out themselves, which allows for more than one meaning for other people to interpret their work how they want. Francis Bacon uses the technique of triptych throughout the majority of his work. This technique is summed up with the phrase, same but different. Francis Bacon seems to be one of the earlier triptych artists, although his style seemed to come back much more into fashion recently in the majority of people's living rooms. You can see an image split into three parts. This could also be described as dumbed down, a version of his work for the general public. This technique shows an image or a situation from the three different perspectives, for example, mind, body and spirit, or earth, wind and fire, or even beginning, middle and end. The rule of triplets is key to the work being so effective and popular. This is particularly apparently in English, for example, where the rule of triptych in writing technique is pleasing to the reader because it feels natural. John Rathman is an inspirational artist to me, as he reflects on an idea which I had, which is the picture tells a thousand words. He does this by showing images which clearly have a backstory, but give no information about what the story actually is. I especially like his image of the policeman looking very happy, as there is obviously a backstory, although we have no idea what it is. This kind of art really involves the viewer and makes him think. It makes him come up with questions such as, why is he feeling this way? And since there's no hint of the answer to this, this is left to our own interpretation, rather than John Raffman saying, he's feeling happy because. I think that this element of his work is the most thought-provoking element of his images.